Rob, what is our third main topic today? John, it comes from Eric the Red. You guys talked last week about the huge news of Mike Flanagan leaving Netflix for Amazon. Man, things move fast because I just saw on Twitter that he's already got big plans. Looks like he's got the rights to the Dark Tower and is making a series out of it for his new Amazon home. Are you looking forward to something like this? And how much do you think Netflix is kicking themselves for letting this guy go? All right. Thanks a lot for saying that in. And yeah, of course, a few days ago, a big shakeup. For those of you who pay attention to the behind the camera talent, behind all the great stuff we see on TV and streaming in the movies, a big coup d'etat. As Mike Flanagan, who had been putting out some big popular stuff for Netflix, got stolen away by Amazon. Amazon, by the way, has been making some major, major moves recently. Oh, yeah. And this was a big coup, being able to get this guy away. Midnight Mass is a massively popular amongst the people who watch it and all that kind of stuff. Well, now they're already announcing a project he wants to get working on. This comes to us from the folks over at Variety who write the following. The Haunting of Hill House and Midnight Mass creator Mike Flanagan and his producing partners Trevor McKay have acquired the rights to adapt Stephen King's The Dark Tower into a TV series. Flanagan and Macy revealed the news Thursday in an interview with Deadline, which dove more into the pair's recent decision to move their intrepid pictures overall deal from Netflix to Amazon. Predating, now this is important, predating our deal with Amazon, we acquired the rights to The Dark Tower, which, if you know anything about me, you know it has been my holy grail of a project for most of my life, Flanagan said. We actually have those rights carved out of our Amazon deal, which doesn't mean that they can't or won't get behind it at some point. You don't know. But that's something we will have to develop ourselves and are really passionate about finally getting it up uh, on its feet at some point. Okay. So prior... To this whole thing happening, he and his partner cried the rights to the Dark Tower. And he's saying that, listen, the assumption that you made in your email that Amazon's going to be doing this, not necessarily. Flanagan, for reasons he did not go into, said they carved that part of the deal out. So it sounds like if he does develop this Dark Tower series, there's going to be a bidding war for it. And Amazon, even though they are now under an Amazon deal, this one project, this one property is going to be something that they themselves will have to get involved with and bid for. Although I'm sure now being their home, they'll probably have a little bit of a leg up. But anyway, Rob, I know you are a big fan of Flanagan. Yeah. And I know you are a big fan of the Dark Tower. What do you make of all this? I find this fascinating because, John, you probably remember that Ron Howard and Brian Grazer and Imagine had a whole plan for the Dark Tower series, all seven books, where they were going to adapt the books as like series and then make movies as well and have them all interconnected all interconnected and all of that went kerflui because again you'd need a real visionary uh financier or studio to get behind something like that and people probably balked and we ended up getting the idris elba version which didn't satisfy anyone now flanagan directed dr sleep which was i thought it's the sequel. I the, loved Dr. Sleep. I, I really did too. And, sequel, and for those of you who don't know, it's the sequel to The Shining. The sequel and it is, was wonderful. Uh, and Rebecca Ferguson as Rose the Hat. I mean, you McGregor was great it, in it. Really, really good stuff. And, and I think that clearly based on something like that, I know Stephen King was very happy with that adaptation of the book. Um, I, I think that, you know, like he's been making this, this is something Flanagan probably used his clout after people saw Haunting of Hill House and and Midnight Mass or whatever, that I'm sure Flanagan called Stephen King up and said, yo. Or if they had to extricate the rights from somewhere, Universal or something, Flanagan would use his clout to go, he went and got his passion project, which I think is awesome. Now, I still want to know why Netflix let him go. Don't understand. Uh, have no idea why that happened. But... Amazon could get behind this plan. And I think that Flanagan said, look, until you commit to everything that we want to do, we're carving this out for ourselves. But I wouldn't be surprised if Netflix, because what they're going to want is somebody to commit to all of it, not like what's happened before. Mm. Like we're going to adapt all the books. Although it does, I mean, the Dark Tower is is the series, you know, Wizard and Glass and all that. I, 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 I don't know how that's all going to work but i wouldn't be surprised if amazon does get behind this because again they're making moves what a coup what a coup for them
You know, and I don't think it's a matter of that they let them go. I don't think it's a matter that Netflix let them go. Right. I think Amazon is playing big boy oh, games Oh, right they now. are. Yeah, 100%. Because, you know, after... And I, I think we made a mistake. And when I say we, I mean all of us. I think we made a mistake in kind of not recognizing the tectonic shift that was happening when Amazon grabbed up MGM. I think it was, oh, this is an important thing, MGM. But I think that was just a forerunner of things to come. I think Amazon has been, because they've been, this is not the only significant move they've made lately. I think they've been sending up the signal flare that they are very, very serious about developing their own entertainment division. I actually believe another major acquisition is on the horizon. A major acquisition is on. The, and I think they are getting more and more serious about this. And I think they simply went to Flanagan and said this, look, your deal with Netflix is expiring. We'll give you double. We'll give you these types of budgets. We'll give you this kind of... I think they simply made them an offer that Netflix was in no position to... Because of their own counter. stock price and their own... Exactly. I, I agree because Amazon has deep, deep... Well, endless, endlessly endless deep pockets. pockets. Yeah. So I think you might be right in terms of acquisition or... Things are changing. But hey, it's only going to last for five years until we can all make our own movies just punching in our... Into the AI. Into the AI. And they'll just <laughs> spit out whatever movies we create every day would how'd the movie go today well i made a 30 minute short film about 1920 chicago where i starred as a gangster it's called wrecker him for a tuesday anyway a little inside joke if some of you guys know it all right guys question is for you what do you make of this mike flanagan looking at doing the dark tower this has got a lot of people excited may it be great maybe it won't whatever you guys think about it jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts we want to thank the sponsor of today's video, True Classic. The holidays are here and there is plenty of t-shirt cheer thanks to our sponsor, True Classic Tees. Guys, we have the perfect gift for your wish list. True Classic Tees are a gift for you, for her, and a great present for any guy in your life. True Classic is on a mission to maximize men's confidence by making them look good. Get 25% off True Classic with my exclusive link, trueclassic.com slash campia, and the discount doesn't stop there. You'll save even more during their site-wide sale. Guys, like most of you, I have always struggled with finding the right shirts for me. Either they're not all that comfortable or they don't fit me all that right. Well, the best thing is, is that True Classics team has designed t-shirts to make guys of all sizes feel confident in their clothing. These shirts taper off towards the bottom, but they fit tighter around the chest and shoulders. This is the perfect look that can be achieved by every body type. And they offer other menswear as well, ranging from polos to workout shirts designed to keep your body feeling nice and comfy. So guys, get 25% off at trueclassic.com campia. Free shipping included on purchases over $100. That's 25% off at trueclassic.com slash campia. 